Okay. So going back to After Effects, I may have uh, neglected to talk about some of the basics. So let me just go over top of them. All right. So going back to my intro title, for example, I just have a black background. So Arjun, you're asking about uh, background colors. Uh, again, when you go to composition and say you did new, this does not change the background color officially. So don't feel, this is more of an interface thing. So don't, I, I tell students, don't bother with that. That does not officially change the color, okay? I said monitor's off, correct? How come I see monitor's on still? All right, so I'm gonna cancel that. To make a background color, easiest way is to go to layer, new, solid. And from here, double click this dialog box from the color, uh, the gamut of colors, pick the color you want, okay? So say if I want red, and that intensity of red with saturation, hue, and value, okay? Press okay, and then it'll make a red. Now, it automatically puts it on top, like Photoshop and Illustrator, drag this down to the bottom, and then voila, your background graphic is red now, okay? If you need to, go on the internet, double find a cool graphic. Uh, I have one of Toronto right here, and that could be your background, okay? So I'll drag this in. Now, if I drag it to the bottom, it won't be visible, but if I drag it over top of it, it replaces that red. Okay, so those are simple ways to change your background. Layer, new, solid, or just importing an image off the internet and bring that to your bottom layer, okay? Anyways, what I wanted to show this in this last video is how to export your video, okay? So say I have my comp, and technically right now it's not the full 20 seconds, but say if it is, okay? What I'm gonna do is go to composition, add to render queue. Now, if you wanna go back to After Effects, I would- Mr. Yeah, hi. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Um, if you're continuing with After Effects, use encoder, but if you just want to get rendered, say add to render queue, okay? Now, make sure you're clicking on your final timeline, not intro, because it will just give me the five seconds. Make sure it's your final animation with everything in it, okay? So, composition, add to render queue. The dialog box on the bottom changes. Leave this alone. Leave that alone, or make sure it's a five point, uh, the H264. This is the one feature you have to click on. Where am I saving this file? So click this little blue text and say, I wanna put it on my downloads, and it's called Almeida David Animation Explorer, the same name as the composition. Press save, click on the re render button. It will go through your animation and make a video file. Now obviously the next 15 seconds are blank because I didn't do any animation. Verify that, go to your finder, go to my downloads, and voila, there is an MP4 which you'll upload to Google, Google Classroom for submission. Is that easy? Okay, done, one is back on.